All right, let's solve this differential equation. And we have y third derivative, so there's three dots there, minus 8y equals 0. Now, there's nothing on the right-hand side, so it's homogeneous. That makes us our life a lot simpler. So let's go ahead and find the characteristic equation for it. R cubed minus 8 equals 0. Now this will give us r to the third power equal 8 and that's going to give us r1 and cube root 8 it's going to be 2, right? So that's a real number. But this is an equation, a polynomial of degree 3. So we only have one root. That means there's two more hiding somewhere. Now to find them, think of it this way. This is one of the roots, right? So we can factor it out of here. So r minus 2 times what we factored out of the original polynomial divided by what we factored out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this and we're going to perform this division. And here it is. This is synthetic division. Make sure you go back to your algebra books and try to review it if you don't remember it. But this is what's going to give us what this means. And that's going to be r squared plus 2r plus 4 equals to 0. Now we can solve this pretty easily and we will find our 2 roots that were hiding and it is negative 1 plus minus square root 3 i so complex numbers so let's take care of our real root first the number 2 so root 1 equals 2 is going to give us y1 which is simply e to the lambda t and lambda is my 2 so e to the power of 2 t now we need to find solutions for our complex roots as well and that will come from here from multiple complex roots and most textbooks will have this layout this is when we have double uh, complex root roots the conjugates right so we have this this is how complex number looks like and from this we have it given that these will be our corresponding solutions so all we're gonna do is simply follow this layout Take the first one, r2, our second root, is negative 1 plus square root 3i. This will give me uh, y2, e, alpha t, cosine beta t. Now, alpha is my real part, beta is my imaginary, imaginary part. Alpha is negative 1, so e to the negative t, cosine beta is square root 3 times t and that's what we have right here now for the conjugate with the minus we're gonna use almost the same one but instead of cosine we have a sine so alpha will be the negative one just like we had so e to the negative t and sine beta t will be my square root three we leave the negative away that's why we're using the sine so sine square root 3 t now we have solutions for all three of our roots so all we have to do is write up our final answer which is y equals y1 plus y2 plus y3 but make sure we don't forget our constants right so c1 times y1 right here plus c2 times y2 and plus c3 times y3. And there you have it. That's the answer.